this is the finished blade and this is the handle and this is the template and we have also one nut and this one is just as a spacer I have uh, made this template but to, to uh, fit the handle perfectly but I have uh, made it a little bit longer here on the blade and that's my error but I will be using just this spacer nut for the time being as this is the workshop knife and not really the chef's knife and this thing is printed with time-lapse so it has some uh, some errors on it on the surface but if you print it with uh, your printer on uh, lower layers uh, set height setups you can probably get a better result even you don't have to uh, how to say it grind it down or remove the the bubbles and such so this is the the fitment I have made this specifically for, for this blade and uh, so it fits like this this is as printed it's not modified in, in any way so just just need to grind the blade up to size using the template that is provided with my STLs and this is about it so it's not bad for one day work it took me about two hours to make the blade and uh, I have uh, heat treated it in my uh, how to say fireplace in my workshop I have I don't have the the proper heat treating oven so it's it's really not bad for for the circumstances in which it is built it is sharpened with uh, how they say it with the uh, sanding paper and uh, fi finished on uh, leather belt and uh, car belt rubberized car belt that you have on all cars probably so it's pretty pretty sharp for a workshop knife you can cut salad from you can make a salad from a shirt or this is probably not a as sharp as it could get and I don't know what the hardness is on this on this blade being it has been heat treated in the in the fireplace so a professional bladesmith but that's enough for my for my workshop so you can try downloading this STLs I will probably make some other designs I don't know if I make another knife this is from a car ball bearing and so it's I, I believe 52 100 steel and it could uh, get it is it has a nice hardenability so it's uh, it's good for making knives and I didn't make the process I didn't film the process of making this blade because it is not Damascus people want to see Damascus steel knife making and uh, you get the idea so thanks for watching and the models are free for for download so see you again on the next video bye